just a short video clip here of um, people tipping sheep out of our Crutch Master systems and we've slowed it down so you can actually hopefully see the technique quite well. Uh, one of the things I want to stress is that some of our operators stand on pallets, wooden or plastic pallets to get them a bit higher and some of them don't, the, the taller ones tend not to. Uh, in my experience and in the experience of other people, uh, the higher you are against the sheep, uh, the easier it is to one have the control of it and also two to tip it out. Uh, some of our operators, um, even the taller ones, like to stand on a pallet as well just to make it higher. It doesn't seem to affect your back when you're crutching and you don't get a sore back at all but it just does give you more control and um, I'm a big fan of standing on a pallet. I think one of the key things when you're tipping the sheep out of a crutch master system is to, is to le reach well over past the sheep. Actually here we can just see young cow just tipping the lambs out. We call that the muzzle tip out that you just twist the head to bring them out. You can do that with ewes as well but it's harder. Um, and now we're going to go into Jack Briscoe and as you'll see Jack's quite a tall fella and is standing on a pallet as well. He reaches well over to the side of the sheep and it just effortly just swells out. It's, um, it's actually unbelievably easy. Um, it's just a technique thing, you know. Don't expect to get it right on your first sheep. But, you know, by the time you've done a hundred or a couple of hundred, you'll be getting better and better at it. And, and the guys that have been using it for a long time seldom tip one out wrong, to be honest. 